Lesson on, Android Bound Services A bound service provides client-server interface, a bound service is the server in a client-server interface, it allows components, such as activities, to bind to the service, send requests, receive responses, and perform inter-process communication IPC, a bound service typically lives only while it serves another application component, and does not run in the background indefinitely. To provide binding for a service implement the onBind, callback method. This method returns an iBinder object that clients can use to interact with the service. A client can bind to a service by calling bind service, when it does, it must provide an implementation of service connection, which monitors the connection with the service. The bind service method returns immediately without a value, but when the Android system creates the connection between the client and service, it calls on service connected, on the service connection to deliver the iBinder, that the client can use to communicate with the service. Multiple clients can connect to a service simultaneously. However, the system calls your services on bind, method to retrieve the iBinder only when the first client binds, the system then delivers the same iBinder to any additional clients that bind, without calling on bind, again, when the last client unbinds from the service, the system destroys the service, unless the service was also started by start service. Different ways to define services iBinder interface and pass it to clients such as activity are, first is through, extending the binder class, second way is through using a messenger class, and third way is through Android Interface Definition Language, AIDL. Extending the binder class, if service is private to application and runs in the same process as the client, which is common, then interface be created by extending the binder class and returning an instance of it from onbind. The client receives the binder and can use it to directly access public methods available in either the binder implementation or the service. Example is shown above. Using a messenger if you need your service to communicate with remote processes, then you can use a messenger to provide the interface for your service. This technique allows you to perform inter-process communication IPC, in above, is a simple example service that uses a messenger interface. In above. First, the service implements a handler that receives a callback for each call from a client. Second, the service uses the handler to create a messenger object, which is a reference to the handler. Third, the messenger creates an iBinder that the service returns to clients from onBind. Fourth, clients use the iBinder to instantiate the messenger, that references the service's handler, which the client uses to send message objects to the service. And last, the service receives each message in its handler specifically, in the handle message, method. Android Interface Definition Language, AIDL. AIDL allows you to define the programming interface, that both the client and service agree upon in order to communicate with each other, using Inter-Process Communication, IPC. On Android, one process cannot normally access the memory of another process. So to talk, they need to decompose their objects, into primitives that the operating system can understand, and marshal the objects across that boundary with AIDL. Defining an AIDL interface. AIDL interface is defined in an .adl file using the Java programming language syntax, then save it in the source code, in the src directory, of both the application, hosting the service and, any other application that binds to the service. When you build your application, the SDK tools generate the iBinder interface file in your project's generate directory. The generated file name matches the .adl file name, but with a .java extension, for example, 
iRemote Service.AIDL results in iRemote Service.Java. Implement the interface. The generated interface includes a subclass named stub that is an abstract implementation of its parent interface, for example, your interface.stub, and declares all the methods from the .adl file. Now, when a client such as an activity calls bind service, to connect to the service, the client's on service connected callback receives the mbinder instance returned by the services on bind method.